Sa pag-aaral natin ng trigonometry ay madalas nating may encounter yung mga triangles na mayroong ganitong mga sukat. 45 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. At itong 30 degrees, 60 degrees, at 90 degrees. Itong 45, 45, 90, at 30, 60, 90 ay ang tinatawag nating special right triangles. Bakit sila special? Uh, maya ay malalaman natin. Pero goal natin sa video na ito ay ang hanapin ang 6 trigonometric functions ng dalawang special right triangles na ito. Itong 45, 45, 90 at itong 30, 60, 90. Nahin natin dito sa 45, 45, 90. Sa isang isosceles right triangle, isosceles meaning yung dalawa niyang legs bukod sa hypotenuse ay magkasukat. Meaning ko anong measure nito, yun din ang siyang length nito. Of course, we have the hypotenuse here. At sang ayon, dun sa Pythagorean Theorem, ang magiging length ng hypotenuse dyan ay x root 2. x square root of 2. So yung side lengths ay meron ngayong ratio na ganito. 1. Namin tayo bang kulay? 1 is to 1 is to root 2. Which means, scroll down ko bahagya, which means, kung ano man yung length ng isang side, ganun din ang isa, kailangan mo lang gawin na i-multiply sa square root of 2. Yung common factor na tatlo na yan. Another way of saying that is to multiply the leg and so sing isa naman sa root 2. Kung naman yung length ng leg, yun yung variable x. Yan yung ratio ng length ng mga legs ng special right triangle na 45, 45, 90. Nasaan dyan yung 90? Of course, ito. Which means, itong dalawa ay yung 45 degree angle natin. Sa 30, 60, 90 naman, itong isa. 30, 60, 90. Ito 90, of course. Ito yung magiging 60 degrees natin. At itong isa yung 30 degree angle natin. Yung measure ng hypotenuse dito naman ay 2 times that of the leg opposite the 30 degree angle. So ano yung leg na opposite ni 30 degree angle? Ito. Ibig sabihin ko ano man ang length niyan, yung haba ni hypotenuse ay dalawang beses nun. So kung ano man ang length nito, multiply mo lang sa 2, yun yung length ng hypotenuse. Now applying the Pythagorean theorem again, you can solve for the length of this side. Kaya yung ibigay ko na sa inyo ngayon. It's going to be x root 3. Multiply mo lang basically yung x square root of 3. Dito naman sa 30, 60, 90, ay eh, meron tayong ratio na mabubuo. 1, ito yun, is to square root of 3 or root 3, ito yun, is to 2. Kahit pag iba-ibahin may order niyan, ayos lang. 1 is to root 3 is to 2. Kanina, 1 is to 1 is to root 2. 1 is to 1 is to root 2. Dito, 1 is to 2 is to root 3. Or kung merong magre-represent ng length ng legs, magiging root 3x times 2x. Again, yung x dyan ay yung length ng leg. Root 3 and ni leg then ito naman ay multiply mo lang sa 2 kung ano naman ang magiging length ni leg bakit mahalaga na alam natin yung special right triangles kasi isa sa makakatulong sa atin kapag alam natin ito no yung special right triangles yung ratio nila basically yun ang mahalagang dapat nating alam Kasi makakapag-provide din sa atin ang alternative na paraan para makalculate o masolve yung mga missing side lengths ng isang 
right triangle. Lalo na kung alam na natin yung measure ng mga angles. No? Kasusundan mo na lang kasi ito eh. Susundan mo na lang yung ratios na yan. Pero hindi natin goal dito na mag-practice na mag-solve ng problems na may kinalaman sa special right triangles. Ang gusto natin, hanapin yung 6 trigonometric ratios nitong 45-45-90 at saka nitong 30-60-90. Sumula natin dito sa 45-45-90. Find the six trigonometric ratios or trigonometric functions. Trigonometric ratios of anong special right triangle yon? 45, 45, 90. Pwede natin ulit i-illustrate. This is 90, this is 45, and this is 45. Sinabi natin 6 trigonometric ratio, yan siyempre papasok yung sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, at saka cotangent. Unahin natin hanapin yung sine tangent ng theta natin. Kailangan natin mag-designate kung sino si theta. Dahil pares naman 45 yan, hindi mahalaga yon Pero let's say ito ang ating inihanap. Si theta. Si theta. Theta. Which means, if we want to solve for sine theta, the sine of that angle, kailangan natin i-divide yung length ng kanyang opposite leg. sa length ng kanyang hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Alright? So, kanina na unawaan natin na yung length ng legs na yan ay x, x at root 2. x root 2. Which means, yung sine ni 45 degree data natin ay 45. Yung sine ni 45 ay opposite, length ni, length ni opposite side is just simply x divided by length of the hypotenuse which is x root 2. Alam natin na kaya natin i-cancel itong x. Anything divided by itself is 1. So, ano lang ang natira? Hindi square root of 2. Ha? Tandaan na, merong 1 na matitira doon. Meron tayong 1 root 2. Ayun yung sign ni 45 degree. Paano naman kung meron tayo, limbawang, cosine? Siya naman ang hanapin natin. Nahin natin yung tatlong major kasi babalik rin lang naman natin to para mahanap yung iba pa. Yung sine, cosine at saka tangent ang unahin natin. So, si cosine naman, ang inahanap natin dyan, si so, ka, sabihin adjacent angle ito, adjacent side rather, divided by the length of the hypotenuse. So, dito sa 45, 45, 90 natin, yung adjacent side ni theta ay itong x divided by the length of the hypotenuse, which is again, x root 2. At kung mapapansin, parehas lang yung makukuha natin. Meron tayong 1 over square root of 2, na siya rin cosine ni 45 degree. No? Bakit nagkaparehas? Well, kasi nga naman, parehas din x yung length na itong opposite at saka yung isa pang side na binabanggit natin, yung side na adjacent to theta. Paano naman kung tangent? Tignan ko kung magkasya ako dito, no? Para isulat natin yung reciprocal dito sa baba. Tangent naman ni 45. Again, ito kanina ko, sine ni 45. Ngayon, nanganapin natin tangent theta, which is to ka towa. Ito naman ay opposite side. Opposite side, divided by the length of the adjacent side. Oops. 
adjacent side. Opposite side is x. Side opposite of 45. Adjacent side to that is also x. Anything divided by itself is 1. So, in tangent ni 45 degrees is simply 1. You can go ahead and check that in your calculator. Lalabas itong kaparehas na mga values. Na madali na lang natin mahanap yung mga reciprocal nito. No, reciprocal ni cosine, uh, ni sine of course is cosecant. Cosecant theta which gives us hypotenuse. Hypotenuse divided by the length of the opposite side. Opposite side. Basically, x root 2 divided by x. Or, balik tarin na lang natin itong 1 over square root of 2. Bibigay yan sa atin ng square root of 2 na siyang cosecant ni 45 degrees. At yan ay degrees. Sunod natin tingnan yung reciprocal naman ni cosine, which is secant. Secant theta is the length of the hypotenuse divided by the length of the adjacent side. Hypotenuse divided by adjacent. Ayan. Or baligta rin na lang natin ito. Dahil parehas lang yan. Parehas lang yung sine and cosine ni 45. Parehas din yung cosecant at secant niya. Secant of 45 degrees will also be square root of Abang, dito naman sa reciprocal ni tangent, makukuha natin dyan yung cotangent of course. Cotangent theta is the adjacent side. Inaoka siya, divided by the opposite side. Or simply reciprocal lang nito. Magkamukha naman, so kahit balik na rin mo, 1 pa rin na makukuha mo. Which means, the cotangent of 45 degrees will also be 1. So, ito yung anim na trigonometric ratio ni 45, 45, 90. Sunod natin tingnan yung kay 30, 60, 90. Find 6 trigonometric ratio of the special triangle 30, 60, 90. Illustrate natin. And ito yung angle, right angle natin. Ito yung magiging 30 degree angle at ito yung magiging 60 degree angle. Of course, ang magiging length ng sides natin ay po ano naman ang length no side opposite to 30 degrees yun, twice of that will be the length of the hypotenuse and then yung length no side adjacent to 30 degrees or ding, pag ginamit mo yung Pythagorean theorem will be x root 3 napin natin yung 6 trigonometric ratios niya ang iset natin na theta ay itong 30 degrees Nahin natin hanapin yung sine theta. This again, opposite leg divided by the hypotenuse. Opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So yung sine ni 30 degrees. 30 degrees. Ay magbibigay sa atin ng x divided by 2x. Divide mo si x by itself, meron ka lang 1 half na value ni sine 30 degrees. Siyempre, pag nireciprocate mo si sine, makukuha mo naman si cosecant. Cosecant, cosecant theta, kasi hypotenuse divided by opposite side yun eh. So yung cosecant ni 30 degrees is just the reciprocal of 2x 
divided by x or simply 2. Binaligtad ko lang yung 1 half. 2 over 1 or simply 2. Sunod natin hanapin yung cosine naman. Siyempre cosine is adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, length of the hypotenuse. Which means yung cosine ni 30 degrees ay x root 3 divided by 2x. Ang pwede kong i-cancel dito ay yung dalawang x. Tapos meron ako matitira sa numerator na root 3. Sa denominator may matitirang 2. That is the value of cosine 30. Square root of 3 over 2. Reciprocate mo si cosine, makukuha mo si secant. Secant theta kasi is hypotenuse divided by the length of the adjacent side. So kung hanapin mo yung cosine, ah, ni secant, rather, hanapin mo yung secant ni 30 degrees, balik rin mo lang yung si x root 3 over 2x. So binaligtad mo yan going to be 2x over root 3 x kalimutan yung x na pwede mong i-cancel eventually meron kang 2 square root of 3 2 over square root of 3 ayun yung value ng iyong picant 30 degrees ano pang wala tayo wala pa tayong tangent and cotangent Si tangent theta naman, kagaya ng nakita natin kanina, towa, meaning opposite leg, length ni opposite leg, and then opposite side rather, side opposite to theta, divided by the length of the adjacent side. So, ang tangent ni 30 degrees, kung ang theta natin ay 30, yun ay magbibigay sa atin ng x over x root 3 eventually pwede makancel yung variable x meron kang 1 over square root of 3 bilang value ni tangent 30 degrees na kapag nireciprocate mo mako mo naman yung cotangent ni 30 dahil cotangent theta is adjacent side naman divided by the length of the opposite side so si cotangent 30 is just square root of 3 divided by 1 or simply square root of 3. So, ganun lang hanapin yung aning na trigonometric ratio ng ating special right triangles. Una, si 45-45-90. Pangalawa, itong si 30-60-90. Now, it's your turn. Ano naman kaya ang magiging trigonometric ratio kung ang theta natin ay 60? Kaya mo bang gawin yun? Let me know in the comments kung ano ang nakuha mong mga sagot o kung may bahagi ng video na to ang hindi mo ganong naunawaan. Thank you so much for watching this video.